Oh, well. Um, okay, thank you guys for watching tonight. My name is Alyssa Loins. I'm a Presidential Diamond with It Works, and I'm here with Lindsay, who's one of my leaders. And just really quick, we're going to tell you kind of our experience with the company, and then we'll kind of dive into some other stuff. So, um, I am 28 years old, but I started this business actually when I was 22, basically 23. And I was working a retail job at the time. So even though I had a college degree, I had an hourly salary. Um, I had to work weekends. I had no benefits. So I joined this business because at the time I was living in Lubbock, which is West Texas, for those of you that aren't Texans. And I really wanted to move back to the big city. I was from Houston, um, but I needed extra income to be able to do that because I didn't want to just have to move back into my parents and live off of them. I wanted to have at least an income to pay most of my rent um, if I was gonna move back to the city while I waited to find you know, that dream job that we all think we're gonna get out of college. And so um, I had always wanted to own my own business, but I had no idea how that would even come about financially. Um, so when this business presented itself, I just thought, you know, I'm just gonna jump in, try it for a little while, make some extra money, move back to Houston, get a good grown up job, and that'll be it. I did not know that I would be here five years later. So long story short, I was working a retail job. Um, I went, I promoted very quickly with this company and actually ended up buying that retail store from the owner. And I had that store for three years. So I thought I had made it. I'd always wanted to have my own business. I was a 23 year old, um, had my store, and very quickly found out that owning a small business is not easy. Um, you put in a lot of time, you pay employees before you pay yourself. A lot of times you're pretty much on call 24 seven, even if you're not there. Um, and I was in a long distance relationship on top of that with my fiance now, he's my fiance now. Um, and so there was just a lot and it was very stressful. And so this business gave me the opportunity to actually sell my store three years later to do this entirely full time from home or from anywhere through my phone. So that's kind of my story in a nutshell. So your turn. My turn. I'm Lindsay. I'm 28, but I started this when I was 27. So it hasn't been as long for me. Yeah. Um, I went to school to be a graphic designer. It's what I wanted to be since I was 15, hands down, never changed um, majors or anything. And I ended up being able to work in the field right out of college. And uh, when it works found me, well, I had been Alyssa's customer because we know each other. Long story. We went to elementary school together we and we played volleyball together for like three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I had to have surgery, so it didn't last that long. But it was at the beginning of Facebook for high schoolers. Yes. So we were friends on Facebook and just never weren't friends. And anyway, she started <laughs> selling these crazy wraps and I saw them online and I was like, that's total crap. Sorry. That's <laughs> not because I was like, athlete, work out, you eat right. But it was, you know, she was legit. Like, I knew her, and I knew she wasn't going to sell something that was not real. And so I was like, whatever, I have to try it. So I tried it. They're real. They work. And anyway, so I was her customer for years. And But I had no interest in the business. Never even really thought about it. Anyway, last, February 2015, um, I ended up, she ended up sending me a message asking me if I wanted to join the business. And um, I had not thought about it. I think I messaged you right before a virtual party. Yeah. A just, party like just like this. Just like this. And then I watched the virtual party. Yeah. And anyway, so um, I had not thought about it, but I had been praying for months, almost a year, uh, for a way to make extra money because when you're in the art field, you don't make a lot of money. Um, I worked at an engineering firm, but I wasn't an engineer, so I didn't get paid like an engineer. I got paid like an artist. And it was hard. Um being and I, I like to think I was really good at my job and and the only way to make more money was to get promoted and be a manager and I had no interest in managing people like zero I do not want to be a manager I don't want to be a boss at all ever and so I had no interest in being promoted and that but that was the only way to make more money so I was praying and praying and praying for a way to make more money thinking it was gonna come uh, through freelancing since I was a graphic designer um, but so whenever Alyssa messaged me, I was like, heck no, but I'll pray on it for seven days. Give me seven days. And, and then turns out, yes, absolutely. God made it clear. It's what I was supposed to do. So 
jumped in, never looked back, um, was able to retire from corporate America. Well, really retire from corporate America. I say retire because I still work. I just do this full time. Yeah. Um, we call it rewired. Re rewired, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Ten months into the business, I had no intention ever on quitting she my job. She told me very clearly that she was <laughs> she did not want to quit her job. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well. I loved it. If there was a corporate <laughs> job that was written for me, like for me, it was that one. And I loved it. And I did not want to quit. I cried when I left that job. But hearts change. And I kind of got sick of asking for permission to take a vacation and having mm -hmm. to wake up to an alarm and um, not getting paid for working more. And, you know, I had no motivation to work more. I no wanted to come home. For growth. Yeah. I wanted to come home and, and work this business because I did get paid for how much I worked this business. And yeah. so, it, anyway. So, now this is what I do full time. I'm a double diamond. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And at the time, we lived... Far away from each oh, other, yes. so we did all of our training and messaging and stuff through the phone, and mm -hmm. now we live like 10 minutes from each other, yeah. so worked out pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay, so let's dive into, for those of you that have no idea what company we're even talking about or what kind of products that we promote, um, we're just going to talk about that briefly. Um, it Works is a health and wellness and beauty slash skincare company. Um, we have over 30 different products, which is one of the main reasons that I would choose this company over and over and over again. Um, we have products that cater to 18 year olds as well as 99 year olds. Um, we have things for the people that are super fit and are in the gym every day. And we have people that are just starting the, their health journey. So men and women, men and women, That's, like we, that was huge for me. Yeah. I, I have a lot of guy friends and family members who are men. Well, and we're going to talk about this later, but I'm not a salesperson at all, so I need this to be as easy as possible. So yes. if our products can cater to every single type of person, yeah. perfect. <laughs> I'm not looking to cut my network in half right away by selling something that only caters to women or whatever. Um, so we've been in business for 16 years now, um, so it's not brand, brand new, but it's still very much in the momentum and growth stage. We're open in about 21 different countries, maybe more, more now. Than that. It was 21, it's more maybe. And we're about to more. open in quite a few more, so I've mm -hmm. heard. Um, it is a network marketing company. Um, so we're gonna talk about that here in a second and kind of the preconceived notions about network marketing. Um, we are basically paid to promote the products and to promote the business. We help people try the products we help people see results, and we help other people make money. That's what we get paid to do. So Lindsay and I have done most of our business on social media, but there are a ton of people on our team that love to do parties, they love to do expos, they love mm -hmm. to go out and talk to people. Um, there's tons of different ways you can build this business. Um, that's, Part of getting started in your very beginning is figuring out yeah. what's going to work with you and your lifestyle and yeah. not just trying to fit into whatever we do because that's not fair. If that's not you, then, yeah. you know, we want it to be as easy and as it's supposed to be fun. And yeah. it is fun if you do it the way you want to do it. <laughs> it's kind of a blast. Yeah. Um, so, okay, let's just dive into network marketing, direct sales. Is it a pyramid scheme? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, do you want to talk about... Yeah, um, yeah, because to me, like the big thing about pyramid schemes is they're illegal, and if I'm not really into illegal stuff or right. talking about it on Facebook, and <laughs> for those of you who don't know, we've kind of blown up in the past few years, and if we were doing something illegal, they would catch us, like <laughs> seriously, in a heartbeat, and shut us down. Yeah, we're regulated by the Federal Trade Commission. Yeah. This isn't like just some home office something that someone cooked up in their garage yeah like, and we also have products we have yes. a product that we're selling so that alone makes it not a pyramid scheme but what I love about this company um and our compensation plan and all of that is um just so Alyssa enrolled me so I am under her right I can outrank her and out earn her at any time just because she's above me in the organization doesn't mean that that's my ceiling you yep. know and um and she is incentivized to help me succeed. So me promoting yeah. isn't going to hurt her, which I love because I have a I'm I have an athletic background, so I love working as a team. And and that's I would hate it if it was like no, I don't want you to succeed because I want to do better. You know, there's room yeah. for everybody. And so um, I know personally that's what I love about my team is we are yeah. very team oriented. And um, yeah, 
That's what I, I always tell people, that. you know, some people don't like or they have this weird thing about someone making money off of yeah. the things that they're doing. But I will tell you that when I had my store, nobody cared if I made any money that month. Mm -hmm. my employees wanted to know that they were going to get paid. They didn't care if I took home a single cent. So this business is different where people actually want you to do well. Like their success depends on you making money. So they're going to help you. They're not going to, you know, hang you out to dry. They're going to make sure you have anything and everything you need to do well in this business. Mm -hmm. So, and like she said, you can surpass anyone else just because you're signed up under someone. They're mm -hmm. only making a little bit compared to what you can make with your own organization. And there are so many people, I don't know, I kind of, as I was reading questions, I don't know yeah. if you said this, but um, not just the person right above you cares if you succeed. There yeah. are like probably 10 other people in the organization that care yeah. if you're successful, which is huge. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you guys keep asking questions as they pop into your head. And we'll go back and um, answer them. At the end, yeah. Something else I forgot to do. If you guys will comment below and tell us what an extra $500 a month would do mm -hmm. for you, um, go ahead and just answer that when you got to have a second so we can kind of see where you guys are at. Um, so that's the first question of the night that we're going to ask you guys to answer. Um, we're going to kind of talk now about a few common excuses that we get for why people aren't ready to do this business or why they don't want to do this business and why it's okay that you have those excuses and how you can do this business despite whatever you have going on. Um, because the beauty of network marketing and especially our company is that it is for everyone in every yeah. kind of um, location, lifestyle, everything. And in so many times, um, other jobs, there are reasons you can't do them. Yeah. And you and, don't have the training or you don't have right. yeah. uh, but with network marketing for those of you who aren't as familiar with it those restrictions aren't there yeah. and so we kind of want to show you how this can fit into everybody's life yep yeah. so the first thing is I'm too busy that's like the most common thing that I hear well let me tell you this I do not have anyone that ever joins my business that just has so much free time that they want to join a network marketing business Nine times out of 10, when someone joins this business, it's because they are so super busy and they are tired of not getting to go on vacation. They're tired of not mm -hmm. getting to pick up their kids from school. They're tired of their kids being in daycare because they're too busy or their schedule's too crazy. Most people join this business because they're crazy busy and they would like to eventually own their own time so that they can be less busy when they want to be less busy. Um, the other thing is this business is like the only part-time job you can have that you can fit it into your schedule. And I wouldn't you, even say part-time. Yeah. Like, very spare time. Yes. But you can bring in a part-time or full-time mm -hmm. income without having to drive to a job, without having to be on someone's schedule. Because most people, what do they do? If, if they have a full-time job and they're not making enough money, they go bartend, they're a waitress, mm -hmm. yeah. they, you know, they pick up this little side gig. You still have to drive to work. You have to find something to do with your kids. You have to make sacrifices to make it to that part-time job just so you can have enough money to pay for the things that you're leaving at home. Like, it makes mm -hmm. no sense. And so this business allows you to, you know, work when you've got five minutes. We have people that work from the bathroom when they're at their job. We have people that work yeah. from their car on their lunch breaks. You can squeeze this business into five-minute increments. Think about when you're waiting in the pickup line for your kids. Mm -hmm. I don't have kids, but I had, <laughs> have to, dogs. I had to wait in that line twice. Yeah. One with my sister when I was just hanging out with her and we had to go pick up my nephews. Second time, I had to go pick up my nephew and... Um, you got some time in that line to just, and I was working when yeah. I was waiting because there is time. And um, think about any time you're on Facebook, that could be you making money. Like people, yeah. sometimes people are so strapped for time, they really are. But you can still get on Facebook. So if you can get on Facebook, you can do this business. To be complete. And Instagram too. We both yeah. work on Instagram. I know some girls that really do Snapchat a lot for the mm -hmm. business, but there are so many ways to squeeze it in. Um, I would say a majority of people that join this business have a full-time job, mm -hmm. probably half have kids or a spouse. Um, people, there's Busy people are busy people. Busy people get stuff done. Yes. And so busy is just not an excuse. I, I, I just I know mean, too many busy people that well, are so super and to successful. Be fair, we were busy when we, I think yeah. that's why it's hard um, since we did quit our full-time yeah. 
corporate jobs. You were never corporate, but I was yeah. corporate. Um, people don't think that they could do it because we don't. Uh, but I joined, I had a full-time job. I was the only designer at a multi, multi, multi million dollar firm. Yeah. And so I was busy. I had a lot on my plate and, um, I just, I went to the bathroom. They can't tell you not to go to the bathroom. So plus I also drink a lot of water. So I went to the bathroom, <laughs> take my phone. They can't tell you not to. And, um, and I worked when I got home. I love Netflix. I love TV. I love movies. It's just weird. I mean, I do. I know everyone does, but I really do. Yep. And so I would just turn on Netflix and have my phone. And I'd work from my phone while I was watching Netflix, which I, I do now because I can because I work from home. So, um, And then you were swamped. You yeah. coached on the side. and I coached. I did catering for showers and stuff just to make extra money. And I worked, like I said, I worked at the store and mm -hmm. I only got paid if I was there. So I didn't get vacation time. I was either there or I, or I wasn't making money. So um, I had to work weekends, had to work holidays, you know, with Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. I'm so thankful for this because I'm not going to work. <laughs> and Seriously. having to miss holidays or having to catch a flight on Christmas morning, I did that. And I did it for a couple years, mm -hmm. and this business allowed me not to. But Yeah, I mean, I remember last year, last Thanksgiving, I quit my job right, like, right before that Thanksgiving break. And my mom was like, are you going to be able to get off, you know, a few weeks before? Are you going to be able to get off to go down to see the family and be down there more? And when do you need to get back from work? And I was like... I can do whatever we mm -hmm. want to do because I own my time now. And and that is an almost indescribable feeling because yeah. we're not taught that. We're not taught that you can own your time when you're in your 20s, you know? Yeah. And I just, we're going to move past the too busy but I, because this is one of the main things that we hear. Um, we didn't join for this. <laughs> so I just no. want to reiterate that you guys heard our stories. Like we joined for an extra couple hundred dollars a month. So we, we are talking about the freedom of time we have because we want you to understand that it's a possibility. We know most of you guys are going to join for an extra $300 mm -hmm. to $500 a month, and that is fine. We did that, and then we just kept making new goals. So I just want to tell you, if you're sitting there thinking, I love my job, or I have no desire, or I fine. can't make that kind of money. A lot of people join it just for an extra stream of income because they love what they're doing, but yeah. they want to be able to do more. When they say the average, what, millionaire has like seven streams yeah, of income. Totally so fine. here's another one yeah. for you. The point is, is that... You could have 10 things on your plate and still be successful in this business because we can show you how to use your time, your very spare time you have, super efficiently. We've done it. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. We can move on now. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> the next thing that we hear a lot is I'm not good at sales or I'm not a salesperson. I'm right there with you. Um, I've never been in sales, never had a background in anything like this. Um And you don't have to be a salesperson to tell people about things that you like or things that you're excited about. We do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Anytime you've seen a good restaurant, you try a new makeup brand, you've gone to a gym that you like, you see something, a funny meme on Facebook, you guys share stuff all the time. Trust me, and some of you share way too much. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you don't get paid for any of that stuff. Like, oh, goodness. <laughs> seriously, I mean, you got like... A couple months ago, people were sharing that pink drink from Starbucks all over the place. Starbucks made so much so money. So much money. And you money. made Think zero. about the red cups. You see a red cup, you're like, I gotta go get my red cup. Yeah. First one of the season. <laughs> got it. I got mine on Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever. So. Yeah. So you share stuff all the time anyways. Mm -hmm. Like she said, you're already on social media. So I don't, I've never felt like a salesperson. I genuinely mm -hmm. am excited about the opportunity that I have and the products that I have. And even before I had tried the products, I was excited about trying them. And I knew if mm -hmm. I was excited about trying them, then I wasn't going to hold them, hoard them from my yeah. friends. I was going to tell them about them just like I would if I saw a new thing at, a new drink at Starbucks I wanted to yeah. try. Haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to post about it because I'm yeah. going to get it. Like, it's the same thing. I mean, I avoided retail like the plague. I've never worked yeah. a retail job. I chose, when all my friends were getting retail jobs in high school, I chose to work at a dog kennel mm -hmm. where I, my job, dogs get really anxious at kennels. <laughs> and, you know, when your dog gets anxious, things come out of it from both ends. That My job was to clean that up. I chose to clean that up instead of work retail. That's how much I am not a salesperson. <laughs> and so I, people ask me, like, you're, or they say you're such a good salesperson. I'm like, no, I don't feel like I've sold anything in my life. I yeah. talk about the products. I talk about what I'm excited to try if I haven't tried it yet. I share um, how much I love it. Um, I mean, 
like Alyssa said, we do it all the time. She has a membership at my gym now because I told her how much I love my gym. Mm -hmm. I did get paid for that. I got a free month. See? <laughs> See? Same thing. Same thing. Um, but yeah, it's it's the same thing. And I always share movies I like and TV shows I like. Can't tell you how many people I got obsessed with Doctor Who. I don't get paid for that. <laughs> nope. Nothing. Same, same yeah. concept. Same thing. Nope. Um, so I think we kind of tackled that one. Yeah. Um, a couple other things will fly through. I, and I think actually someone just asked a question about this, kind of having to go along with it. But you either don't know enough about the company or that's how you feel. Um, I didn't know anything except for that we had one product. <laughs> and I was excited about that one product. So you do not have to know everything about this business. The cool thing is you guys went to school for most of your lives to get a degree in a job that you're now not making the amount of money that you want to make or you're looking for another stream of income. You went to school your entire life for the, for what you're doing right now. And with network marketing, you can just join and learn and make money all at the same time. So we're not going to put you through some sort of crazy course or mm -hmm. itinerary that you have to complete before you can start making money. You can learn and do it all at once. Lindsay was I the same way. Anything. I didn't know anything and I was signing customers before I knew anything because yep. it's that's what she's my man. Whoever signs you up, whoever invited you to this party and who is your sponsor, they are there to help you. And so my day one, I was telling my family about it, telling my friends about it, asking her a bajillion questions and signing customers up before I knew anything because you can. In network marketing, you can make money without knowing a dang thing and it's yep. pretty sweet. Yep. Exactly, and then you just learn as you go. And Yeah, I'm still learning. I still blow up her phone all the time with questions. I'm still learning too. Um, okay, but the other thing is maybe you feel like you don't know enough people um, or you feel like the company is too saturated or you already know enough people that are doing it or whatever. First of all, as far as being too saturated, we have 150,000 active distributors in the entire world, people that got a paycheck last month. And a lot of those people, to be honest, aren't really working. But 150,000 got... Really think about this. There are millions in some of the other companies out there. Um, I'm not going to name names. There are six million people, right, that live in Houston, or is it four million? Six million? Four million. So somewhere in six. I think it's six. So six million people. In Houston people alone. In this city. Houston so, would eat every single And that's in tw or 20, uh, somewhere in 25, 26 20 different countries. So 150,000 compared to several million in some of these other companies, y'all. Um, there's some makeup companies and some health and wellness companies that have millions of distributors, and we have mm -hmm. 150,000, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing I would tell you guys is it's the new car syndrome. You, you start thinking about joining It Works, and all of a sudden you see It Works and Lime Green everywhere. everywhere. It's the same thing when you buy a new car. You feel like you're the only one that has this special new car, and then you start seeing that car everywhere. Um, we got a lime green Jeep not that long ago. They're swear, everywhere. There are so many lime green Lime Jeep. green Jeep. Are you serious? There's one, in, another one in our neighborhood. Like, yeah. you don't ever, and like, and I never even noticed it until we had one. So, mm -hmm. um, that is part of it. And social media is amazing because it gives you everything at your fingertips. You can seriously, you know, connect with people all over the world. But the other thing it does is it makes you feel like it's everywhere when really it's just in your small little mm -hmm. circle. I guarantee you that you know at least four people that someone else that's selling the products doesn't know. Um, absolutely. You know way more than four. But just for example, you know, I knew at least four people that she didn't know. Mm -hmm. You knew 500 well, people I didn't know. In my team, a lot of, I went to a really small high school, yeah. really small high school. Like I graduated with like 68 people um, and that was the norm. And a lot of my team is from that high school just because it's the network that I had. You know, I went there from 6th through 12th grade. And so a lot of us on my team went to that school. And yet we're all successful because we all went to, we all grew up in different neighborhoods, went to different colleges, work in different places, yeah. moved to different states. And it hasn't hindered anybody's success on the team, even though we went to a tiny little high school. And we do know hundreds of the same people, yeah. but we also know hundreds of other people. Yep, absolutely. Um, so, you know, it doesn't take knowing 
so, a ton of people to be very successful in this business. It takes a few of the right ones and it takes you being willing to learn and you being willing to find a way to connect with new people over time. Mm -hmm. I still have people joining my business um, and reaching out to me or I'm reaching out to them that I've been friends with them on Facebook for five years that, or we went to high school together or we went to middle school together. I still have people that I know mm -hmm. um, that are just now joining and I've been in for five years. Mm -hmm. So it's, it takes time, it takes consistency, but you do not have to know a ton of people to be successful in this business. You just have to be willing to work at it and to learn and to talk to the people that you do know. Um, it takes five really awesome people on your team to get all the way to the top level and go ambassador. Just five. It's true. It takes a lot of us, more than five, to find those five, but five people. That's what you need. So if you can think of five people that would need extra money and you can think of four people that would like to try the products with you, you're already set up to do so super well in this business. Um, so, okay. Um, the last thing that I wanted to mention, yes, if you're watching this tonight, um, this is amazing. The company just announced that any distributors in this month that sign up for loyal customers, that's our like VIP loyal customer program, it is amazing. Um, sign up for loyal customers. That's it. Before the end of the month, hundred dollar cash bonus, just like that. On top of they've never done this before. They've never done it before. This is Christmas cash. It's, it's bucks. easy like, hundred bucks for knowing four people that want to try the products at a discount. Like that's a couple bills. That's some Christmas presents. Yep. And it, a couple tanks of gas. And really quickly, I know we haven't gone over this, but to get started with this business, it's ninety nine dollars. Mm -hmm. That comes with a box of four wraps, so you can. Actually, we won't go into this, but you can sell those four wraps, make your $100 back. You can also go out and sign four loyal customers and make $100. Okay, so you've already profited $100. Mm -hmm. With those four loyal customers, you're going to earn discounted wraps. You're going to have wholesale pricing for a year, no matter what. Um, you're going to get commission on all of those orders. Mm -hmm. So just in your first couple of weeks, you have access to that, but it's only good for November. So if you're thinking about this the business- The sooner you jump in, the longer you have to get it. Four so. people, like that's crazy to me. So if you guys are like teeter-tottering on this and thinking about whether you should do it or whether you should not, you know four people, get your starter kit paid for and go out and sell four wraps and you've already profited. And for any type of business in the entire world, to be able to make a profit in your first couple of weeks is insane. Mm -hmm. It took me a couple of years to pay off my store um, and I was pouring thousands and thousands of dollars into it every single month. You have the opportunity to profit in your new business within a week or yeah. you know, and then a couple everything weeks. after that is just money. Yeah. In your pocket before Money Christmas. In your pocket. So, um, were there any questions that this we... one I want to go back to the um, I feel like we're a little late compared to many other people. Um, we talked about saturation, but I want to hit it from another angle because I think what you're asking is like you feel like you've missed the momentum. Mm. Um, think about not going to name names, but those companies that do have millions, the ones that when you hear network marketing, that's what you think about. Yeah. Those companies. They've been around for 30, 40, 50 years. Yep. Yeah. 30, 40, 50 years. We've been around for 15. Imagine getting into one of those companies in their year 15 and yeah. staying there the whole time and never giving up. Imagine your paycheck. I, yeah. I get so excited when I think about 20 years from now. Like, yeah, it's they say it's that your awesome. they say that your paycheck quadruples, yeah. multiplies just by sticking it out. Yeah, <laughs> like just yeah. getting it started and letting it roll and sticking it out. Um, yeah, so you're definitely not too late yeah. at all. I mean, I kind of thought that when I joined her because you were like year three and a half by yeah. the time I joined, and I was like, you know, and you were already a triple diamond, and I thought, man, ish, you know, I already yeah. knew a lot of people who did it, but I was still able to. I'm doing just fine you yeah. know there are people there's always people yep the world has a lot of people in it yeah we so. still have a whole lot of growth the company has a lot of huge plans for the next couple of years so I'm not worried about the too late thing in fact the uh, someone that joined a year before me so they've been in six years so the company had already been around for 10 years they're the number one earners right now mm -hmm. they've been in a year longer than me so I'm like the fact that someone could come in and the yeah. other, the other, I guess the number two has been in for like 12, 13 years. Yeah. So that someone that came in 
and has been in for half of the time as the other person that can go number one, that shows you that there's still room at the top. Yeah. There's only two people at the very top, or three people three. at the very top level of the company right now. They wouldn't have that level if they didn't expect hundreds to be at that level. And yeah. that's what gets me excited. Yeah. Because I'm like, if it's there, there's going to be hundreds of people there. So what does that mean for the rest of us? Yeah, I'm excited about it. It's awesome. Yeah. So any other questions? Um, yeah. Can you please tell the difference between social media aspect and the party and real events? So... There are a few, we have a lot of freedom to build our business using our own strengths. So we yeah. use social media because I'm introverted and shy and hate talking to people face to face. That's why I use it. And we're making this video, that's how much we believe in this company <laughs> is neither of us really love talking to people and right now we're live on Facebook. So you guys should all join because we were that brave to do this. That's why. That's um, why. No, but there are, there are, a lot of people do rap parties. They're very, yep. they're awesome. Um, it's just not my cup of tea, so... Uh, but we have, we can still train you in doing them. If you like the more face-to-face -face social aspect of yep. it, absolutely. As far as events, like, there's people that have signed up for bridal shows. You can Google, like, there's craft so fairs. Many, there's like, so many Christmas, Christmas things shopping going things. on right now. To be completely honest, when I joined, I tried a little bit of everything. Um, I tried face-to-face. -face. I did a wrap party. I did expos. I did a few bridal shows. I did social media. When I, I tried everything so that I knew what I liked and what I was good at and I could rule out the things that I wasn't good at. I will still do rap parties, I will still do expos, but I've made most of my income on social media because I chose social media to be my route. And when I decided that, I was like, okay, well I'm gonna learn how to be really good at social media if that's how I'm gonna make a million dollars. And so that's I like what to I say, did. Like we say we're professional Facebookers. Professional Facebookers, yeah. yeah. We don't just like post on Facebook and make a million dollars. Like we work at what we do in any way you decide to go and however you wanna build your business is fine. Um, you just wanna become the best at that thing yeah. and you want to utilize your sponsor and utilize the online training and we have conference calls and you have access to so much we didn't talk about our Facebook groups I know we didn't talk about our groups but I'm talking about it now um, you have access to pretty much any type of online training calls mentoring text messages group things mm -hmm. whatever you want and you can be anywhere in the entire world and still be successful in this business like I said we didn't even live in the same we lived like nine hours apart when she got started we just did everything through text messages mm -hmm. and through our online training groups and you'll get added to our private team pages when you join this team and you'll have videos, you'll have contests, you'll have, you'll see pretty much anything and everything you could ever possibly mm -hmm. want. Um, so as far as training goes, I hope that kind of helps answer your questions. The company has an online training program too, so we'll get you plugged in. But any other, any other things on here? I don't think so. Okay. I just want to reiterate that if you are thinking about it, get with the person who who invited you and really talk over any other hesitations you might have because this is the time to jump in. Like we were saying earlier, yeah. like the new year is it's nuts. <laughs> Don't wait until people are in full swing for yeah. New Year's resolutions to decide to join your yeah. business. Get started, even if you just want to use the products for the next six weeks, get on the products, get good results, share them with your closest friends get and your family. $100. Yeah, get your $100 Christmas cash, and then come um, January, February, you get to take advantage of the busiest and craziest part of our business. January through, like, June are the it's insane. craziness, and it can be good all year round, but I'm just saying so many people are using the holidays as an excuse, and I'm asking you not to. Mm -hmm. Use it as a Christmas present to yourself to start using these products so that you don't miss a beat in the new mm -hmm. year. Um, it's seriously an awesome time. Yeah, you're going to want to really know your way around yeah. the business when we get into the new year because it's it's like a gym. Everybody wants to get healthy come January yep. and then it's spring break and you know there's so many things in the spring and uh, people are going to want wraps for Valentine's I had so many wrap emergencies yeah. <laughs> in February yeah because they um people had um wanted to fit into their dresses for mm -hmm. I made so much wrap cash that, <laughs> that month because people needed wraps so um because you can sell individual wraps for $25 so I just yep made some money that way Okay, last thing, um, I'm going to post here once we get off the live video, I'm going to make one last post, and if you will comment on it, you'll have an extra entry to win a free wrap at the end of the party. Um, it'll have 
I some, saw someone just asked yeah. about the different levels of the company. It's going to have attached an average earnings chart so you can kind of see um, the average annual earnings for each level. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to get into the levels and ranks and how to get there and whatnot. Um, what we told you tonight is how you move up the levels. You're going to share the products. You're going to help people feel better, live longer, you know, look better, whatever. Um, and you're going to help people make extra money. And by doing those things, that's how you move up the ranks. So get with the person that invited you tonight. Tell them what your hesitations are. Ask them questions if you need to. Get started. Go earn your Christmas cash. As soon as you enroll tonight, you'll have access to all the training in the groups. And you can get started and have your 100 Hundred bucks before Christmas and more. Yeah, and more. So, probably more. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys for watching. We will see you later and look for that post here in a second.